it's that time again. We're talking rumors. We're going down that deep, dark rumor hole. Uh, this time, it's all about two big box sets two big box sets that relate to kill team which potentially and which i foresee affecting the warmer 40,000 game in a big way in terms of where they can go with these releases now before we jump into this as i always say um i have to just like talk about rumors of what they are rumors are rumors okay they're not facts the lies the only time we'll know if it is true is when games workshop posts about it over on their social media site so please please, please remember that, right? I'm not confirming or doing anything like that. It's just rumors that have been whispering throughout the warp. Now, let's jump in and let's get waffling. So let's start with the things that we actually do know and the things I've actually talked about before. So a couple of months ago, weeks ago, I mean, what, like what you want to call it, I talked about a rumor that I heard about brand new striking scorpions, plastic striking scorpions. Now with the video I'm about to put in the background, Games Workshop has more or less confirm this it says in the trailer it was a teaser like you know our diary presence and um, detected deploy infiltration troops now there's been a lot of talk about what the infiltration troops could be and from what i was hearing from the whispers in the warp is that the box set as a whole was going to be space marine scouts versus striking scorpions in terms of fairness and the law i'm sure striking scorpions would literally kick the behind out of space marine scouts but i think from a model's perspective i think we're in like we're, we're probably gonna get something very very interesting here because we're definitely going to get new plastic striking scorpions and i also theorize we are going to get new plastic space marine scouts now i haven't heard anything about new plastic space marine scouts but i'm theorizing this because every time they launch a new season of kill team the two armies in that box set are completely new armies what we've had in like after that like after launch seasons is that there's one new side and one side gets an upgrade which we'll go into in the second part of the video because that is going to be a hell of an interesting one with what i'm hearing with the rumors um of that so right now i do um theorize that that box set is happening i do believe the whispers of the warp for this that it is going to be um striking scorpions in plastic and we are going to get the new space marine scouts in plastic try and visualize them um as neophytes neophytes are the black templars you know like when they got like those new cool looking models i think that's how games workshop's gonna do it again that's just my predictions and thoughts i'm not saying that's what the rumors are saying that is how i think they will do them also to add a little bit of um sugar to the cake um i am hearing that potentially there is going to be a second wave of eldar stuff coming so maybe the striking scorpions is kind of way get a link into that and you know striking scorpions plastic and a few new um new eldar models for you uh xenos players now moving on to the next rumor and this is the one that is giving me all the giddiness and that is kill team space hulk space hulk kill team kill team space hulk space hulk kill team space hulk right i like i really don't know what to call this but i am hearing that something is definitely happening in terms of space hulk attached to the kill team i definitely do think it's a part of the kill team because we've just had like this big scenario where it takes place in a space hulk and apparently it's crashed on the planet maybe you know terminators go into this and there's a whole narrative and um, behind that um the really big thing to talk about for this is that if it is space hulk kill team right then i really do think this is where we're going to see now brand new gene stealers now a lot of people were very very disappointed a couple of days ago when they put out the tuned faction focus and they shown off the gene stealer um well stats let's say um I, I, i'll put it in the background so you can actually see it for yourself and people are like oh there's no new gene stealer models but i always theorize that they wouldn't actually release gene stealers as part of the range refresh for the turrets i always thought that they would do it via a space hulk type of game and um i think this is this is what's going to be happening now i think what they'll do because as i mentioned before what they always do with like box sets after launch box sets is that there's always going to be a one new side okay and that one new side will be the gene stealers or fancy brand new models and stuff like that then on the other side will be a uh, an upgrade for an already established unit and that already established unit is the terminators and we're going to have this you know 
iconic Terminators versus Gene Steeler box set. Now, what am I thinking for upgrades for the Terminator side? I foresee that this is where we could start seeing maybe shields, thunder hammers, other type of weapons that we've not yet seen for the new Terminator range. We all know by now that the Terminators have been upgraded in terms of scale. Um, there's uh, uh, an article that GW posted the other day, and it's about combat patrols, and on that stat sheet, again, I'll put that up in the background, there was like um, relic weapons, uh, thunder hammers on there and stuff like that. So if Games Workshop are making rules for it, we know that there is eventually going to be models that represent that on the battlefield. It's just a matter of when rather than if. And I personally think that this box set will be that. We will get the Terminator upgrades, shields, thunder hammers, um, lightning claws, flamers. You know, the iconic weapons that we normally have seen during uh, the Space Hulk games. I think that's what we're going to be getting. Now, there is one more thing to add to this. If it is true, and we actually do get, like, Kill Team Space Hulk, or we get, like, you know, a new Space Hulk game, I'm just going to say Space Hulk incoming um, at this point. I'm wondering, will they actually theme it? And when I say theme, are they going to put it around, like, Blood Angel Terminators, like all fancy Blood Angel pads, you know, chess pieces, all the icons and stuff like that on it? Um, maybe Dark Angels. That Dark Angel range refresh still is buzzing in my ears and with the lion coming back potential of like belial new models new deathwing terminators and stuff all this stuff has to be upscaled now to the new terminator range so i'm wondering maybe they could do it themed i'm probably going to look at this in the most logical way and say not because they probably want to sell this box set to as many people as possible and when you start putting dark angels and blood angels in certain box sets it turns a lot of people off because they're like oh well it's not really for my chapter i like like plain armor so i can have like an imperial fist symbol ultramarine symbol raven guard space wolf symbols you know all that type of stuff from a business standpoint I, I think it will be plain, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was either Blood Angel or Dark Angel themed. Anyway, Chaperunios, that is enough waffling for me as always. If you've got any thoughts, feedback, anything like that, uh, post it down below and we can have a nice little chin wag as we always do. 10th edition is literally round the corner now. Pre-order date is the 10th of June and it's going to release on the 24th of June. I've got a big video coming about 10th edition because it is a limited box set for people who don't know, and it may be a bit of a disaster um, um, to get that box set. Fingers crossed, I'm completely wrong, and you know it doesn't turn into an Indomitus situation that we had um, during Ninth Edition. But I'm I'm going off subject here. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Again, thoughts, feedback down below, and I'll see you all down there. See you. Have a great day, and bye bye.